Well, when you sit down to dinner, do you ever really think about where that food comes from? Well, there's a family farm in Southern California that chefs agree produces some of the tastiest fruits and vegetables around. Well, joining us now is Alex Weiser of the Weiser Family Farms and Chef David LeFavor. LeFavor. I exactly. just want to make sure I say it right, of the restaurant MB Post. Yeah. So you get quite a spread here. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having us. Having so, great, Alex, great to be here. this is just a sample of the kinds of produce that your farm uh, grows because it's this time of year where you're going to get potatoes and right. what else? Uh, we grow a wide variety of, of seasonal fruits and vegetables. Um, right now it's winter, so we do have our fingerling potatoes. Um, some sprouting broccoli, and I thought I'd bring something that we're planting now, which is uh, something unusual and top uh -huh. secret. Oh, top secret! But not anymore. <laughs> uh, they're, called, they're called crone. And um, where, where is your farm? What is this, though? Wait, wait, crone. Oh, what is that? Crone is um, it's a root vegetable from a, a mint plant, very, uh -huh. in the mint family, uh, very versatile, mm -hmm. like a like a Jerusalem artichoke. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can eat them raw, sauté. Mm, yeah. I like them. Uh, Great pickle, texture. roast. Too many things. So, what happens first? You find a, a, an item that you want to grow, or you have a chef come to you and say, Hey, I had this in yada yada. Can you grow it for me? You know, it's a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. um, I always pour through seed catalogs, bring them to the farmer's market where we'll conference and, and decide what we'll, we'll grow for next year. Because I, I want their opinions. I, uh -huh. I want to kind of, when you're planting seed and all those resources, to, to a crop, you want to make sure it's going to be sold. Sold. <laughs> People are going to buy it. Yes, exactly. And is there a, a certain amount of preservation on your mind as well in terms of like heritage strains? Of oh yeah, we we tend to grow more heirloom varieties, uh, mainly because they taste best. Mm -hmm. We're always looking for flavor and uniqueness, and often heirloom varieties are the most flavorful. Can I ask where his farm is now? Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Where, where, where Where's is your farm? That's a, that's yeah, a good we're question. I mean, Chef you know, David you know there's not a lot of farms here in, right in, in the immediate cooking. Los Angeles yeah, area. Yeah, we're, we're not in Los Angeles area, but we're around 100 miles outside Los Angeles in Tehachapi, mm -hmm. uh, Bakersfield, and Lucerne Valley. All, all around, like I said, 100 miles away, but each, clim each property has a different climate and unique properties that we could grow different things. And I was sort of whispering to Chef David LeFevre to st go ahead and start because we have such limited time. But you love Alex's produce. Why? Oh, it's amazing because, first of all, you get to see him every Wednesday at the market when I go there. He has a great um, feel for the farm, for the fields. You know, he knows what's coming up. He can tell us a week in advance what's coming up. He's got just great product. Um, he's so personable. He cares about what he's doing. Right. Um, it's amazing to meet farmers that um, really care about what they're doing. And, it's and it guys like Alex. It really makes a difference as far oh, as makes what you get. It a tremendous on difference, the, the freshness of the product. Yeah, right. and you have to respect that. And Alex is a guy that makes, you know, he makes Los Angeles a better food town because of the product that he provides so the chefs. So you've got here the beginnings of what is a very popular brunch item at MB Post. Yeah. And by the way, congratulations. The nomination, James Beard nomination. Thank you. Two thank them, you. one for the restaurant, one for you. Yeah, exactly. We're really excited right yeah, now. So exactly. hopefully I'll pan out. But we've just taken some of his product, the brox, sprouting broccoli, some of his potatoes, sauteed them up with a little olive oil, added a little bit of egg, and what we're going to do is add a little bit of cheese. And then what we do is we just pop it in the oven and let it cook for about 15 minutes until the egg sets, just with a lid like this. Uh huh. And then what we would have. Through the magic of television? Through the magic nice. of television is. Uh, Oh, frittata, beautiful. that's all done. We use a little piperat on top, a little bit of green onion, and then we take a little bit of creme fraiche and just do a little scoop of that right on top and some cilantro sprouts, and it's ready to eat. Gorgeous. That looks good. Yeah, we have brunch at the restaurant on mm -hmm. Saturdays and Sundays from 10 until 1.30. And we've just had a really great, great reception to it. We've got the best guests in, in, in anywhere, really. Manhattan Beach is great. We're about uh, six iron to the shore, you know, great breeze coming through, and it's just a nice way to spend your weekends. Yeah, very good. Chef David LeFevre, thank you for coming in. Alex, thank you so much. And great. let me just say, you know, when you start going to restaurants and it says chicken and Wiser Farms carrots, you know you've kind of made your name. Well, it's a family operation. Um, I get a lot of love, but it's my dad, Sid. And my mom, Raquel, my brother, Dan, sister, Esther. Shout out. It, it's uh, <laughs> all, right. all of us. Thank you, Thanks Alex. Thanks for coming in. All Appreciate right. it. Kobe Bryant's not out of the woods yet. We'll tell you why he missed practice today. That's coming up on Studio 11 LA. Well, that Thanks looks good. Again, Did we get yeah. to, yeah, Please have a little bite? Here for you. There you go. Just 
gorgeous. Come on, Phil. Not again. Oh, oh, you're so nice.